Here in small town Norway, Christmas is celebrated with a unique intimacy and a Scandinavian flair for community. We're in Drobak, about an hour south of Oslo. While it's Norway's self-proclaimed capital of Christmas, Drobak feels like any idyllic town on a fjord. It's Santa Lucia Day, December 13th, one of the darkest days of winter and an important part of the Scandinavian Christmas season. All over Nordic Europe, little candle-bearing Santa Lucias are bringing light to the middle of winter and the promise of the return of summer. These processions are led by a young Lucia wearing a crown of lights. This home has housed widows and seniors for over 200 years. And today, the kindergartners are bringing on the light in more ways than one. The children have baked the traditional Santa Lucia saffron buns, the same ones these seniors baked when they were kindergartners. Taking their cue from Santa Lucia, Norwegians, cozy in their homes, brighten their long, dark winters with lots of candles, white lights, you'll never see a colored one, and lots of greenery. In Norway, as in the rest of Europe, pagan symbols, like the evergreen tree, survive disguised as Christmas traditions. The same's true with this sprig of mistletoe. In Scandinavia, it's associated with the Viking goddess of love. For Celtic people, it was a sacred plant. They used it to heal the sick and enhance fertility. For most of us, it's just a handy excuse to steal a little Christmas kiss. <laughs> the Norwegian spirit of Christmas extends even to the departed. Candles flicker in graveyards as families remember lost loved ones. And all over Norway, communities gather together in churches just like this, as choirs cap Santa Lucia Day with a concert. And as the congregation follows the Santa Lucias out, more light of Christmas spills into this little fjordside community. Christmases everywhere come with special meals. Here in Norway, families treat children to a rice porridge, and it comes with a hidden almond. The child who discovers it wins a marzipan pig. It's reminiscent of the old days, when a peasant family's wealth was tied up in its precious pig. Yule Ol, or Christmas beer, goes back to medieval times when the Vikings liked to celebrate the winter solstice with a particularly stout brew. And holiday desserts are a big part of Norway's Christmas season. The local Christmas fruitcake called Yulakaka and a towering marzipan Krenzakaka. A common theme across cultures is a legendary gift giver, not always fat and jolly, who kids butter up with treats. While I grew up leaving Santa Claus milk and cookies by the fireplace, the kids here leave a bowl of porridge out by the barn for the Yulanisa. These mischievous elves from the forest visit each Christmas not on reindeer, but with a horse, pig, and mouse entourage and a bag of gifts. Every good child knows the Yulanisa is coming with an exciting reward. Just up the fjord, Norway's capital, Oslo, celebrates Christmas with a more urban charm. Streets are decorated. Locals not ready to rely on the Yulanessa are out shopping. And good cheer is abundant. Christmas in Oslo feels low key. You'll find it best not on the streets or in the malls, but in the homes with friends 
and in music. Youthful voices fill the city's oldest church. The old Acker Church, which dates back to the 12th century, hosts the Norwegian Girls' Choir for an Advent concert. Thank you. 